This is how I built the richest hotel business ever created in Daisy. The whole idea to create a safe zone for survivors. The question everyone asked, could it be done? Alright, here goes nothing. I'm finally in a server that I feel like I can get this business done on. We're gonna try build a hotel and see what happens. It's something I haven't really seen anyone else do on DayZ, so... First of all, we need to sort of find out where we want to build the base, and I need to get started. Right now I'm gonna stay as a solo, but later on we're gonna have some employees come help us out. With the plan of motion now underway, the first thing I needed to do was get started and find a location to build this hotel. I was looking on the map for that exact spot when I got interrupted. Oh! Him once. I need to get close to this gun. Fucking shoot me, pussy, then! I, I killed him! Holy crap! This guy's awful! I have a scorpion! Where is he? This guy's so bad! How did he not kill me? This guy was awful. I've never seen a worse player in my life. I'm just geared now. Let's go. My first stop was Eastbrook, where I was told there were some apartments. Alright, where's well, that apartment? Uh, that apartment up there is too small. Nah, that isn't gonna work either. Damn it. We need to find a big apartment, not a small apartment. <gasps> I think I see the hotel location, guys. Oh my god, this could be perfect. Oh my god, this is so good. It has a grand entrance. There's a little supermarket. There's a park. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. This is gonna be perfect. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Alright, so once you don't get a room until you're on about the fourth floor. This is a big room though. And then I'm gonna have my office all the way at the top, so we're gonna go stash some gear up here. Um, can I make it up there? Uh, right, we might have to... Okay, for uh, issue number one, we're gonna have to do some renovations, so... Some stairs are gonna have to go in there. Right, we're gonna make a little stash up here. Alright, let's have a look around from up here. Oh wow, oh, there is another double apartment over there, but I think that would be too much. I think this is the best option. <gasps> this is so good, we can- <gasps> Oh my god, I almost walked off the roof. Alright, it's time to go and get everything we need. Luckily for me, Waldo was home to a large industrial zone, nearby the hotel location, and it was here that I would be on the hunt for nails. After all, we were going to need a metric crap ton to complete this project. After looting for a while though, I had zero luck, and instead collected the barter items I had found in a bag. These were valuable and could be sold at the trader, so I grabbed them all and headed over to Sunset. Here we go, set base. Alright, I'm at the trader. Um, right, we need to go over here and sell what I have found on my little adventure over here. And then buy the essentials we need. Okay. So that gave us 47k, wow, right. Well if I'm going to be a hotel owner, I kind of need to look like one, right? 
There we go. We're looking like a apocalyptic hotel owner. Although progress at this point was going good, I decided it needed to go faster, so I invited my first two members of staff to come along and met them at the trader. Is that you holding out your little leg? Hello there, Marvin. Or oh, I don't know who this guy is. Hey, this. You ready? So, yet? What deals can we do? Like, I need a helmet for you. Oh, oh nice. Well done, Sarah. 75k, boys. I think that's a big investment Wait, into the uh, hotel. Right, anyway, I got to up by um, base oh, building items, oh. right? Uh, we need a sharpening tool. We'll get two of those. Alright, I think we got everything, guys. So, I got a code lock. I got a base bomb boot, I got a handsaw, we have a hatchet and that base, we have sharpening tools, and we have 20k left. With everything now acquired, I created a team before we set off from the trader, and then spent the next 20 minutes running home to our hotel. Back at the hotel, I showed the guys around and shared my idea and thought process of what I wanted to do with this hotel business. The top room was still not secure and we had everything but a box of nails to do that. So we were back on the hunt again and it took us a long time before we found a single box. <gasps> Finally! I got a box. Let's fucking go. I'm coming back. Oh, I love this so much. How there's like a big grand entrance. I love it so much. This hotel is gonna be sick. With the goods now in our inventory, I set about building our starter office inside the top room of the apartment building. It was small, but it would do for now. Why is this game so shit? Like. <laughs> All right. Let me just need to place a, a wall on here, and then we're in. This is gonna be Louis's office. It's dusty. All right, we're sealed, boys. Alright guys, good start. Boys. Night, boys. See you in a bit. Good night. With a starter base now down and our first day complete, our next objective was to collect as many building supplies, storage containers and of course collect food for the hotel guests. And whilst we're on the topic of food, let me tell you about today's sponsor, HelloFresh. If you're like me and don't enjoy doing a food shop every day, then HelloFresh is definitely for you. Their recipes are quick, step-by-step -step guides with meals taking no longer than 30 minutes, allowing you to get right back to what you were doing with some delicious food. HelloFresh's newest menu release includes Mediterranean recipes, or if you're feeling a little more close to home, then why not give their grilled steak wraps or cheese stuffed burgers a try. Remember, these are all made with fresh ingredients and there's hundreds to choose from. If fresh ingredients is as important to you as it is to me, then it will help that HelloFresh delivers its fresh quality food produce straight from the farm to your door in less than a week, allowing you to enjoy seasonal food all year round right from home. Sounds ideal, right? Well, HelloFresh have been kind enough to give you all a massive offer. Use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use code POGEXCLUSIONOX65 for 65% off plus free shipping on your first box. As soon as you click, my description will live update to count up all the purchases, so let's see how many we can get. There's a guy in my building. Hello? You friendly? Hello? Oh, he's talking, he's talking. Can you go louder or something? Because I try 
Bobby and Dick. What'd you say? Did you just log out or something? Because I tried to talk to you before, see if you were there. Uh, no, 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 I literally just logged in, bro. I literally just logged in. I, I forgot I had um, I had my voices turned off, so I couldn't hear you. My name is Bargas. I'll, um, What's your name, sorry? I will talk to you. Bargas. B A R D A S H. Okay, cool. Bardash, okay. Yeah. Well, if uh, I'll keep an eye out in the chat for you, and if you guys need a, a room, then uh, you could be my first customer because um, we're setting up a hotel here. Alright, cool. Just let me know when it's finished. Alright, man. Alright, see you later. Bye. Okay. Bardash. Bardash. <laughs> hey, Bardash. Keep an eye on the chat. After a unexpected guest, it became clear that the hotel business could have a lot of potential with the locals. After all, he seemed rather interested. I waited around for Zodek, our third team member, to load in. He was having some technical issues. And that took a little longer than expected, but that's just AZ for you. It was during this time, the area got a little busy. Ooh. Oh. I'm going down, I'm going to snipe that. See a guy? Where? On the rooftop. There's two of them actually on a rooftop. Uh in the construction. Don't, just you hold the stairs, bro. Yeah. One dead. They're hard pushing, bro. They're literally right below us, I hear them. Oh, the yeah here! here. Hit once. He's dead. Dead, dead, dead. On me! Come in. I'm on con, I'm on con, guys. He's so shit. I'm up, I'm up. Where is he? He's, 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 I don't know. Where was he? Where was he? He was just next to your body, mate. I hit him twice with a shotgun. He's dead. No, he's hit again. I killed him, I killed him, I killed him, I killed him. Oh my god, this guy was loaded! He had a box of nails as well. This little bit of action got us a lot of items that could be sold at the trader, as well as some nails to be put towards building our hotel. But before we started that, I decided it was time for another run to the trader, with a little stop along the way to do a key we got from one of the people we killed. That way we could get some extra goodies and make some extra cash to buy more stories that we were ever so desperate to get our hands on at this stage in our progress. Oh, nice. Oh. Right, let's get to the trader, guys. I have so many sellables on me, it's ridiculous. We can get so much money. Alright. Okay, that gives us 120k to play with. That's really good. One of these. We need a code lock. And. We're gonna need. I'll just buy one of these. With stories now acquired, it was so important that I got back to our base safely. So I waited in the trader until it turned night time, or at least into the late evening. That way, there was a less chance of running into anyone, and I could get home safely. Or so I thought. There's two. Killed one. He's full dead. I seemed to scare the second guy off, but 
Something wasn't right because I found his stash bag in the woods and surely he wouldn't leave without that. Nonetheless, I took this as a win and headed back to our hotel. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be back. God, that was crazy. After this hugely successful run, I took a short break and waited for my teammates to log back in. And that's whenever it all happened. Oh, I'm not out. There's two of them. I bet they are fighting each other. I'm dead. Towards the bitch, yeah? Yeah, uh, no, it's a shell. Yeah, supermarket. One dead. Dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. On us. Oh no, the front line. Yeah, the bullets. I'm low, I'm low, I'm low, I need your help. Oh my god, I'm dead. I can respawn and be a stone come down. Better be a gun up here I can use. There's a P90. I've got to do it now. 2k swim. Yeah, this is the fresh yes. <laughs> that was a lot more coming, mate. Yeah, I hear them all, I hear them all. I used to hold it because I'm used to slice it a few times. Let's go! Two more dead. Three more dead. What the flipping hell just happened? <laughs> After having to deal with a massive fresh bond issue, well, that's whenever all the fun began. You see, this action was not the end of it, it just kept going. Cool. You're not a problem, bro. Top floor, uh, middle window. I see him. Eyes on, yeah. He's in the middle of the second shit, bro. Good shit. I just watched him see you guys in the light. <laughs> Damn. How juicy was he, bro? Oh, he was geared, geared. Oh my god, he was so geared. What the hell? Let's go, bro. I don't know who you were shooting at, though. I don't figure out who you were shooting at. Oh, I see who you were shooting at. Hey guy, once uh, across the road northwest of you, behind the trailer thing. Right, okay. I hit him again. Once. He's down, he's down. You, your shot killed him. Coming. Dead. Good shit, bro. Ronnie Connor. Guy in this, uh, the large apartment, big apartment on the right hand side, bottom floor, bro. Bottom floor. <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'll pick him, I'll pick him. Just wait there. Yeah, yeah. Under it, yeah? Right, right hand side of the go, yeah, he's underneath the stairs, he's on the left hand side. There's a freshie running up. I, I, a gear guy dead, there's another gear guy coming down though. Uh, all dead, all dead. All dead, there's a freshie inside still. I killed him, I killed him. Oh, okay. Holy crap, holy crap, they're so geared. With our so biggest good. loophole yet, our inventories were loaded. And we decided it was actually time to finally head towards the black market trader, and that's where we could make the most money. But first, I wanted to find some more valuable items, and that meant doing some more keys around the map. After a successful run to get more valuable trading items, I headed back to base and grabbed all of our barter items. 
and then we decided to head over to the black market trader, but we got a little distracted on the way. Dead, dead, dead. The Vodian tower is peeking. He's hit. I killed the Vodian tower. The Vodian tower is dead. I love how you can see our hotel all the way from here. It's yeah, massive. Our hotel is <laughs> capitalism at its finest. Dangerous territory. Right. Are we gonna move down here? Or? I say we stay about now. Yeah, I think we move down. Okay, let's go for it. I'm in. Here we go. This is sellable. Bar grimes. Holy crap, man! What? Bitcoin 112k! Jesus, holy man. Holy shit. I have 300k on me, guys. I have 320k. With this money, we bought more storage. After all, we were quickly running out with the amount of PvP we were getting. This would be exactly what we needed. All we had to do was make it back to our base. Uh, there is no you ready? Yeah. Let's go out of here, guys. It's a really good run. After another massively successful run to the black market, it was time to start construction on the front of our hotel. The reception, if you would like, and that meant getting a lot of wood, a lot of planks, and making a bunch of kits. Okay, cool, that looks good. So this is going to be the front of the hotel, so we just need to build this up now and then we're good. And then we can actually start renovating rooms and then we can start inviting people. Oh, we're getting so close. Nice. Oh my god, this looks so good. Oh, it looks sick. The next step was renovating the stairs so that we could easily get up them, blocking off places we didn't want people to get to, and finally blocking up some windows so it wasn't as easy for people to boost inside. Oh yeah, it's looking mighty good. Whilst we were making great progress, we were definitely slacking behind some other groups. So I took the decision upon myself to get three more staff members. Hi. And these people would help me gather all the nails we would ever need to build our first hotel rooms. Oh wow. Okay, so I've just logged in after being off all night. And apparently the guys were busy all night. Okay, yeah, they, uh, they were sure as hell busy. Wow. Wow, man. All these dog tags. All this loot was actually insane, but the best item was a yellow chainsaw. So, after storing some items away, I put it to use. Oh my god, man, that's crazy. That's mad! And after gathering all the wood I would ever need, I got back to work on renovations. Okay, this should be a tier 2 door now. Very nice. And after these renovations, we now had an entire floor as an office. But it was now time to start work on the hotel rooms themselves. Alright, so the first room, we literally just need a door, a door and three windows, I think. One, two, three. Right, one window there. Boom. Alright, let's go for that. Oh, 
Alright. We got our very first hotel room, pal. Woohoo! The first step to riches. I know, right? So come in here, they can decorate this however they want. Put their own sleeping bags and stuff. Okay, nice. Right, that separates this into like two rooms. So we got we can sell this as an apartment and sell this as an apartment. With three rooms now built at this stage, we could only afford to build one more. But that would be perfect to get us started in this hotel industry. Oh my god, this is so nice. Wait, this apartment's so nice, I'm gonna have to charge like four boxes of nails for this one. With four rooms now built, we could comfortably start inviting people to come live in our hotel. But first I wanted to head over to the black market one more time in order to buy something very specific. Okay. I'm gonna sell as fast as I can. A vehicle would allow us to get around the map so much faster and therefore increase our wealth even quicker. Yeah, uh, no, okay, but no, Oh, guys, 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 guys! Guy in front! I, I can't go out, I can't go out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. In front, in front, Saudi, in front. Eyes on, eyes on. One dead, I think. In the bus, in the bus, in the bus. I'm on con, I'm on con. One dead, one dead, one dead. I'm on con. This firefight gave us one of our best guns yet. We then headed over to the trailer, bought some essentials, and headed home. We were now officially open for business, and I started inviting people through my Discord, and then all we had to do was wait. Hello. <laughs> oh, you, bro. Is that someone outside? Yeah, it's all speaking. Oh shit, outside. I haven't got voices on. Yo, bro. Welcome to the hotel. hotel. Um, give her um, one, one second. Hello, hello. I will be with you. Oh, my gun's away. It's George, by the way, the one in, in Discord. Hi, man. Yeah, gun. Oh, wow, gun's you're away. geared. Certified beamer. All right. What have you got to offer for a room? Can I have a look around first? Is that possible? Of course, of course, of course. Out. If not, I've got the... I've got the Soon enough, check. people would start showing up, and we had a process. First, we would introduce ourselves, do a quick strip search, and then show them around the hotel. Um, so you're here to rent a room, huh? Yeah, yeah. Alright, come up. I'll, I'll show you what we got to offer, and then uh, if you're, you're interested, I'll uh, send you off. There's a couple of options here, okay? So we've got this room, which is uh, the, largest, yeah. the, the largest of the apartments we offer. One of the largest apartments you're gonna get. You've got loads of space in here. You can put sleeping bags. You know, you can put your your storage. You can store stuff. If you want an extra door on, it'll cost a, a one box of nails and a code lock. Um, in here, we got a nice little small room suitable for a solo player. Nice and cozy. Could be uh, two boxes of nails for this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, there's another sort of medium to small room here. Oh, this one's nice, yeah. Uh, this is the uh, fourth option we have so far. Uh, I, I like this room the most. Once people were happy with the room, they would pay us. And if they didn't have the payment on them at that time, they would go and get it. Hello. You got the goods? Got the, the nails for you. Nice. Alright. Perfect. Alright, man. Well, if you want any roommates to move in, that's completely fine. Um, you're, you're free to outfit anything any way you want. Uh, if you need anything placed, just let me know. I'll come down place everything for you. Um, right, have you got anything now? Have you got a sleeping bag or anything? No, not right now. Nothing at the moment. With each seal, we were getting wealthier and wealthier. People kept showing up and I kept getting paid. This was one of my most profitable businesses yet. Oh my god, the profit! It's starting to roll in! 
at school. And throughout the next couple of days, people would keep rolling up. Oh, well, there's a guy there. Oh man. Wanna come on in, you can't. There you go, go on ahead. So, we've got this very large room. This will cost three boxes of nails, but um, it's probably worth it, I would say. Or equivalent to three boxes of nails, you can have other items too. Okay, um, I can do two boxes of nails and I uh, have an intelligence folder. Perfect. Profit! Oh, and an extra default. Little luck charm there, huh? By the end of the day, we were starting to get extremely wealthy, and these supplies would be used to finish the final four rooms of the hotel the following day. This has been a really successful day, so I'm really happy with this. And with this, we've built our final hotel room. So, we now have, I believe, eight hotel rooms in total. So, these are all up for sale now. With all eight rooms now built, the last thing we had to do was block up all the front windows in the middle staircase so that no one could boost inside. And once that was done, the hotel was completely secured. The following day I decided to get some of the hotel guests together and lead an expedition over to a toxic island where we could get some very valuable loot. Alright, be ready for an alarm. That's loud. Oh, you might want to have a Oh my god, dude! In here. Oh yeah. my god. With a SCV hitch? Let's go. Gun case with an M110. Oh the wow. AC vest and an RIA VR80. RIA, yeah, that's good, man. Alright. We made it out alive. Back at the hotel, some of the guests were waiting for me to return, as they wanted to make upgrades to the rooms, and this was another way I could make more nails. There you go, you got a tier 2 door now. And although I was making nails, one guest had a special gift for me. Oh my god. With all these extra nails, I had one idea in mind, and that included the top of the hotel, but you'll just have to wait and see. For now, we had a little bit of an unexpected guest. Playing fucking right at us. Really? Yeah, right at us. Shoot it. I hit the tail. I did hit it, loads there. Like mentioned earlier, I had a great idea for the top of the hotel. And that included using all the nails that Riptide had given me as a gift in order to complete this new project. So on top of this, we need to build a massive hotel sign. Okay, just gotta build the L, and we're back on track. Okay. I've finally got it back to where it needs to be, so let's try to build this up and see how it looks. Alright, last bit. Oh yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that looks really cool, actually. But I am starting to think I should build it fully. It's kind of hard to read. Let's see what the sign looks like now. Oh, yeah. That is so good. As I'm sure you're aware, the whole point of this sign was to broadcast our hotel's location, and it really wasn't long until someone showed up. Kinda does look apocalyptic. Kinda looks rough made. I like it, man. That's so cool. There's a guy outside. Uh, I got two boxes of nail center hexa. This one, right? Yeah, I like this one. That looks okay, good. man. Uh, this room costs two boxes of nails if you have that. Business was booming, and I used these nails I just got from selling this room to secure the top roof of the hotel. Boom. And I think we can open this nice. and then just crawl through. Yeah, we can. The next thing on our agenda was to do another black market run. We had collected a crap ton of barter items, and this was going to be our biggest run yet. Alright, we're going on an expedition to the bandit camp, okay? As I have a 1.1 mil. After using some of the money for my essentials, we return to base. Let's go out here, let's go out here. Alright, what a run. Oh my goodness. 1.64 mil. We were finally rich, and our hotel would continue to grow as I made more upgrades to people's homes. And with the never-ending supply of nails coming in, I decided it was time to build another sign on top of our hotel, just so people knew exactly what was going on here. Oh man, the, the sand turned out nice. It's so fresh. Oh, dude. Let me just turn off markers. Oh, look at that. That's sick. I haven't seen the base from up here before, but that looks so cool. But before we go any further, there's something I didn't show you. Oh, Wait, who's snapping? Who's snapping? That was on me, bro. I swear that was on me. Oh, right on you, no, Beetle. Right there somewhere. Dead? Come and beetle, mate. There's fucking three guys up here. Oh, <laughs> run, beetle! Oh, shit. Shit. I'm, I'm not on. pushing on. Yeah, I see I'm them. Not. We were being watched, and we didn't know who by, but soon enough, these guys came back, and they made sure to bring numbers this time. Where Ooh, are you looking guys, at, mate? Me in front of the milli spot. He's moving left. There's two of them. Go into the tin. Tin. I see yeah, him yeah, behind double. Yeah, nice man. Nice man. yeah run, double behind double red. Double apartment, sorry, not big apartment. Double apartment. Yeah. Oh. Up, shot at us. They're in the apartments, guys. The apartment complex. See me crossing the road. He's got an ult in the helmet running towards the apartment now. Big gun, that boys. Be careful. Oh, still good, Tommy. Holy shit. Where the fuck is you? Oh, I'm hit. No idea where from, bro. Very, very top. Very, very top. Wait, the door at the very, very top on I'm the dead. closest double apartment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sniping each other between rooftops wasn't working, so we took the fight to them. Yeah, he's moving up. Oh, I'm hit. That's I'm a Tembi, that's a Tembi. It's fun, man. Yeah, it's off a kid on the roof. I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Okay, he's hit. Hit once. Hit twice, should be dead. Front of me though. Killed this kid. Now I'm gonna skip through this because it was a lot of back and forward and it ended up going straight into the night. Hit once, hit once. 
and despite dying sometimes, we usually managed to wipe these guys before they had a chance to overrun us. Oh, dead, dead. Yeah, nice one, me and you fucking lit him up then, Lewis. Well in, lad. Killed him, killed him. GG, Lewis. Work, good work, good work. No guy in it. Two guys, two guys. I'm knocked out. I've killed one other guy in there. He's weak. I'm not dead, but I'm not out in the doorway. I'm dead. Someone just killed me. But no matter how many times we wiped these guys, they just kept coming back. He's got an Alton on. I need help, I need help. Oh, Tommy. This kid's on me. Mm. Sit once. Killed this kid, killed this other kid. Killed this other one. Shit, nice. Oh boy! Oh shit! Nice. He's got a big gun, like an MP4 or something. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's at the top of the stairs. I can actually probably kill him one minute. With us winning every single fight with these guys, we got a little too confident, and eventually we all died. After that, we simply could not get back at these guys. They had regrouped, they were oh. outgearing us, and they seemed to outnumber us. Oh, there's another sniper. What? I'm dead as well. It was clear that these guys were out for us. But we didn't know where they lived. All we knew was that whenever we were on a rooftop, they seemed to always be able to spot us. I know that might sound obvious, but it was like they were always watching us. All we knew is that they lived by this apartment, or at least seemed to hang out by it, and one of the guys told me there was a base inside. Over the past 14 days, we have been collecting a bunch of explosives, and it was finally time to put them to use. Okay, there's nine of us in total. We have one job. These guys have been massive with us this entire time. You guys look like ants going up this. They are ants. Here we go, boys. Oh, they left the door open. Oh, blue, 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 both doors. It was too close. Now let's see. <laughs> yeah, a lot of three, three, yeah. Oh, or random guns. There was a lot of loot inside this base, but nothing from what we seemed to have lost, which was strange because they were hanging around this apartment the entire time. This, however, put a spring on our step we decided to use the rest of our C4 on another nearby base. What kind of car even is that? Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, oh nice. Chevy. Let's go. Got two doors. Oh wait, this one doesn't have a lock on it. <gasps> oh my god! Oh hello. This one's loaded too. There's a safe in here. Oh my god, the five five six man. <laughs> oh hello. Oh, hello. Look at the amount of five five. Winnie ammo, mags. Oh my god, that might kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god. We needed this so bad. Oh, the best. The guns! 10 bees! Or 700. Oh, the gun wall. Beautiful. Oh my god, the money! And the key for the car!
With a last hooray and a last bit of fun, our time had finally come to an end. Or at least it had for me, as I had planned to give this hotel away to the person who I felt had grinded the most over the past 14 days. Oh, he's got it nice and cozy. He's got a stove on the go and shit. I like this oh, room. I like this one. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, look in here. Oh, I like this a lot. Look in here. <laughs> I just want to oh. drink. There's a, there's a portable fountain over there, too. Oh, yeah? Where? Oh, yeah. Ah, no shit. Nah, I can't okay. that. Wait, that's actually like this. sick. This is sick. I like the windows as well. Right. That's pretty cool. This room's pretty dope. Oh, what kind of loot he's got in here, though? It's a real Ooh. potion. Oh, I like this little juice room, though, in the little poverty room. Yeah, I like that. Oh, he, made, like he made good yeah. use of the poverty room. He did make good use of the poverty room, well, bro. This like. is good, man. I like this in here. This is, yeah, cool. this is cool. That's like trying to advertise the uh, student accommodation, isn't it? In I really want to do this in <laughs> Daisy again, where you like. Okay, this room we actually never sold. <laughs> Back so, in the room. Uh, <laughs> oh, there were oh, a bunch of Coggers. Hello. Okay. Oh, it's cozy. Cool, the Hoggers time joined he a little bit late, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we've got to give it him the time he had. Coggers tried. Yeah, Coggers was the last one to join us, I believe, so... Yeah, he's been yeah, very he late, so... Well, bro, you take all this stuff. You get it all I like this room, it's nice and cozy. You got some stuff, oh, you got like 50k in I there. I think you need some rug for, for what you had, like the time you had. Yeah, right. Next. Alright, next Wait. room is uh, DFG's. Which is in here. Ooh, now DFG one. does have an extra door, he did pay me an extra bo box of nails, so it's got an extra door. A lot of storage. Oh, I like this, yeah man. DFG's a hoarder. No cap. Yeah, he's definitely been grinding to be fair, like, you can't deny that, like. He's yeah, got a lot you of can't shit. deny that. Yeah, he's got a lot of shit. Yeah, okay, he's got okay. A lot of shit. He has got a lot of stuff. He's got an FN file right, like mine. It? I rate the symmetry as well. It's very symmetrical. Mm, true, true. Oh. Bro, I have I have autism, bro. This has to be fucking. <laughs> it All has right. to be symmetrical. The next room You'll is get no uh, pity votes for autism. We, had, we didn't sell that room. Okay, Frosty's room. Frosty okay. isn't online right now, but his room I actually read a lot. It's quite cool. I like it. I like the oh, camo net. He's, he's got a little fridge nice as well. Nice selection of guns in this lock right here, bro. Nice selection. Yeah. Look, he's got a little. It's he's got a little safe masks. in there. Oh, he has. It's open as well. Oh, he's actually got nails and stuff. To be fair. Okay, I yeah, like the. Uh... He actually has a lot of guns. It does. Okay. It does. Frosty's done well for himself because he was the second to last to come, I'm pretty sure. With every piece of detail taken into consideration, I got everyone to gather on the roof for the reveal. <sighs> Guys, our time has come to an end, okay? And uh, I hate to do this, but I must leave and head on to my next adventure, so... With that being said, we would like to appoint someone to... Um, continue the hotel for us and uh, after inspecting all your rooms we have come to the conclusion that uh, Riptide should be the one to continue the hotel or at least be the leader of the one who um, continues the hotel so Riptide if you would like to come up here all right dude good luck Riptide adios <laughs>